Come every year, don't come at all You leave your peace at home, that's your call You never paid to be merciful Come every year, don't come at all Come every year, don't come at all Been here before, you watched your battle man fall I smell the fear on you, boy Come in the auto, come in all Hey guys, so here's the, uh, here's the uh, cab of my 567 um, You can see I'm, I'm in Phoenix, Arizona on a reset So I got the windows reflected out I bought some of that um, <clears throat> reflective uh, uh, insulation or whatever at Lowe's and uh, made those for the side windows I've also got the front window done behind the uh, curtain up there but the um, the drivers or the uh, cab section of this 567 is almost identical to the 2016 579 that I was in I mean you've got a few differences in the um, obviously in the controls because you have an extra axle that you got to lift and all and um, so there's a little bit of change there but uh, it's pretty much the, the exact same setup. It's a 18 speed instead of that 10 speed. Um, <clears throat> I'm real particular about cleanliness in my truck. So there's my driving shoes. I never wear shoes in the back of the truck. I like the those lace laceless afterburn sketchers right there because they come on and off really easy when I'm driving. Uh, when I get outside the truck to work, there are my steel toes. Um, and I've got those laced up where I can slide them on and off too really easily. And then I've got a pair of uh, just really cheap, like $10 Walmart shoes that I just wear inside the truck. They never <clears throat> go outside the truck at all. A uh, little ab wheel, I like to leave it up there so I can grab it when I'm going to hit the showers in case I don't get a full workout. I can just hit the ab wheel in the showers. Um, there's my Armor All uh, 12 volt vacuum. Man, if you don't have one of those, if, if you like your truck clean, that thing is awesome it's easy to empty out and it's 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 a really it's the best i've found so far a vacuum i've found so far so up top i just put used some wire um wire baskets that i hooked to the little bungees up there to, to to add a little bit of extra storage but you can see it's got you know pretty good storage up here in the front i, I used those cobalt bags that i got at lowe's just clipped them up there with some uh clips for some extra storage and I got different stuff in there. My fruit basket's starting to get a little low. I usually have uh, a couple of oranges, a couple of apples and some bananas in there. So, um, <clears throat> sorry about the voice guys. My, um, I just got through working out a little while ago and I'm a little hoarse from it. But anyway, so trash bags, this refrigerator, let's see if I can get you an insight on this refrigerator. Brian got this refrigerator specifically for this truck and it's cool. You see it's almost empty right now, but you can adjust the um, the shelving in here. I've actually got the other shelf out of it, but you can adjust the shelving in here so that um, you can accommodate different size Tupperware dishes and all. And it has a freezer in here. I make my own ice. That little ice deal there is really cool. But it, whatever's up here will freeze too. If you adjust this temperature up here to the coldest setting and put stuff up here, generally if I buy steaks or whatever, I'll put them in there on the top shelf and turn it all the way up it'll freeze them even up here and this stuff down here won't freeze so um that's just a bowl of vegetables i got in there it's just snack vegetables and i use this little bungee um right there at the bottom so when i'm riding it never comes open there's a tray down here that you can open up and that's just got all kinds of different um tools and stuff in it that i use over on this side my favorite thing about the peterbilt um is this little station they got here down at the bottom this is a cabinet oh, move my fan it's a cabinet and i just got my crock pot and um cleaning supplies extra tupperware dishes those baskets have everything that one on that's got cleaning supplies this one's got canned fish and all kind of stuff like that that i like to keep in there but um crock pots in there a tiny little skillets in there you know just storage it's really neat you got the slide out drawer uh oh you got to pick it up slide out drawer i use it for uh um silverware and everything but that flips up but you can use that as a table and all it's really cool 
cup holder and all behind there you know I keep that's where I do my uh, keep my body cam and all um, little coffee station I love this this is what I love the most about this the way they got that set up is it's my coffee in there a cup that I use for brushing my teeth and all in there glass for heating up water I, I use instant coffee I keep honey in there oatmeal and all for my breakfast stuff I just love that and it's even it even locks you do that and it can't come open six gallons of fresh water this is where my um, blender stuff is <clears throat> I'll show you guys this how I got this set up see where my um, inverter is I actually have my blender bottom right there if you can see it it's always plugged in battery charger for my cordless drill and all but I, that little blender charger is always plugged in so I can just pop it up here pop the little deal in it and um, it's hooked up ready to go so I can mix my protein shakes and stuff in there but it stays right there this is a little bottle of cleaning stuff it smells good it's like a Febreze or something I keep it right there <clears throat> for doing my um, for doing my cleaning my dash and all so like I said six gallons of water this is glass bowl for oatmeal reheating anything I want to heat this has just got um, wipes and stuff in its storage As you can see I keep little bungees on it to keep it closed um, blender top and all that goes in there storage up here is awesome on the top you know if you look up here I got a box with uh, granola bars in it but I keep like little different stuff up there on the top granola bars whatever all my jar stuff goes in here because uh, it, it just it keeps it from getting broken or so if I got peppers I've got coffee I've got you know all kinds of stuff in there you know uh, cans of stuff like if, if I just wanted a quick uh, Chef Boy RD or something you know it's all right there um, this truck instead of the on the 567 or the 579 I had everything my office on that side behind the closet I did it differently over here I tried it like that but I like it much better this way as you can see I just I just got some shelving from from Walmart or Lowe's I can't remember which and I bought a 76 inch mattress right instead of the full eight foot length mattress I got a short one I'm only five foot seven so you know I still don't even reach all the way down this mattress my wife's like five foot 411 or something so she's not gonna reach either but anyway <clears throat> down here we got microwave on let me just start at the bottom on this bottom shelf if you look underneath my uh, briefcase there's a Tupperware tub it keeps towels and stuff like that in there in case I need to take my own towels in a truck stop they don't have them you got a microwave right here boom uh, scanner printer copier all of that it's my office so you a stapler this is where I keep receipts until I organize them extra paper all of that kind of stuff over there I, I got my um, my computer monitor mounted to one of the arms on the cabinet so that I can you know swing it out of the way if I need to over here I left one of the um, drawers in this deal out so that I could have access to the AC and I took a piece of mud flap when I changed my mud flaps a piece of the new mud flaps you can see in there and uh, I made a little shelf and I've got a fan back there that blows directly from the vent on the truck it just blows the air right on out so I don't lose that AC or heat vent back there but um I rarely use this um I rarely use this monitor so it just usually stays you know back over there out of the way just like that but you can watch TV on it I can hook it up to my laptop if I wanted to and watch TV like Netflix or something um, but my laptops actually on this side and all the cables that run to the monitor I ran under the, the mattress but my laptops over here and it's on the same kind of a deal where it swivels around and all that so if I'm sitting in my bed you know up here with my head up here I can um, do studies on it or you know work on a video whatever or I can flip it around like this and I don't have to really come into the back of the truck if I want to um, uh, print out a um, there's my wife if I want to print out uh, permits or anything like that it's all hooked up together to the um, printer all over here it's all hardwired in ran underneath the um, mattress so but I usually leave it back there like that when I'm driving I just put one of these little suction mounts up here this is where my phone goes I'm using my phone to record this so normally 
<clears throat> my phone's right here. If I'm gonna watch YouTube or something like that, this thing will flip around and uh, tilt down, and I'll just lay in my bed and watch it on my phone. I, I, the only time I really use that monitor is if I'm doing a live and I want to share my screen. Um, this is where the TV would normally go. Most guys would have their TV up here. This is the way it was designed for. I used the mount and mounted a shelf up there, and I took two of those uh, drawers that I took out of that set of drawers right there that I got from Walmart. I just took those two drawers, put them up there. I keep a bungee run across them. Camera gear, just all kinds of different stuff that I store in there. That's the um, stuff that I made the uh, window blinds out of. So, and up top I just keep paper towels and uh, here's my son's football when he was in here. But I keep, uh, I just keep stuff stored up there, trash bags and stuff like that. Along the back wall, I got my hats on the bungees. This is mainly, you know, this is my dietary supplements. There's uh, creatine and protein, fish oil, uh, vitamins, but there's also some sauces up here, you know, extra. I use, I buy big giant bottles of shampoo and everything and then just pour them into my, um, my little bottles. On the top up there, I love this thing about the 567. You see that the 579 didn't have that extra cabinet up there that storage space that I actually have a lot of stuff up there you see bungees up there um, burrito wraps bread that's generally what I keep up there is, is soft stuff like bread and burrito wraps and all over here is like my medicine cabinet and um, you know body spray and deodorant ah, all kinds of stuff in that little cabinet back there medicine stuff but that's pretty much the back how I got the back organized if you're gonna do when you do heavy haul you you really need to be printing out a lot of you get a lot of paperwork so I had to set up an office and that was the hardest thing to get uh, together in this truck the way that I wanted it to where everything was easy to get to and I could use it this printer and scanner see it's got to be able to open up and you got to be able to put paper in it so and what I do is when I get all my loads done I put them in a folder boom and I throw them in there. I just dropped off all my like seven or eight loads to Brian. <clears throat> so I, I got to start putting new ones in there. But um, anyway, so that's pretty much how I did the um, office area. Uh, in those those uh, plastic bins back there, I've got socks, underwear, shorts, and stuff like that. Most of my clothes that I wear on a daily basis, I keep hung up in my closet. My gym bag, that's my shower bag. See that, that closet takes care of all that. And then there's just extra. I, I hung this up in here and uh, it already had this one. And it's just, this is the folders that I put in my little bin. Once once I've got my loads done, put all the paperwork in there, staple it together, put it in there in that little bin right here um, to drop off to Brian when I come home. I stay out anywhere from two weeks to two months, just depending on how, to, how the uh, freight is. You know, if I come through Columbia, I do. If I don't, I don't. But what I wear on a daily basis, I just generally keep in here. I have shorts. They're black, so you can't really see them. But my shorts are hung up in there. My shirts are in there. My uh, shower bag's in there. And that's how I do it. That's how I've got the inside of this 567 set up to where I can work out of it. I'll tell you guys, um, the LT, the last truck I had at Sim Freight, was a condo sleeper. And I didn't have half the stuff in it that I have in this truck. And, uh, and I'm very, very comfortable. And I, I, I do believe, well, I was just sitting on my bed. That kind of stuff drives me nuts. Wrinkles in my in my bed. But um, I believe my wife and I both would be very comfortable. We're small people. So if you were a big guy, if you were, you know, 300 pounds, 6'5", you wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't be able to do that right here, what I've done here. But like I said, I'm, I'm 5'7", 190 pounds. And, and um, I'm uh, plenty of room. You know, my wife and I can sleep in there. My 14-year-old uh, rode with me for two weeks, and we both slept in that bunk. Him on one end, me on the other end. Didn't have any kind of problem whatsoever. So that's the inside of my 567, guys. I um, I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you got any questions about how I did any of this stuff, just leave a um, question in the comment, and I'll get back to you. Jesus loves you. So do I. Yeah, guys, have a good one.